All right, Flyer Mechanic here, and today we're working on um, this 2010 Chevy uh, GM, or sorry, GMC Sierra Hybrid with uh, the 6.0 liter um, electric gas hybrid engine here. And I just wanted to go over a few um, service tips on this real quick to hopefully uh, save save some mechanics a little time in their um, efforts to uh, work on these vehicles or these hybr uh, hybrid systems in this um, truck. Basically I'm going to show you where the hybrid battery is at, um, where the regular accessory battery is at, and how to service it safely by turning off the main, um, the main power switch to the battery and also disconnecting the regular battery. But first off, obviously before you service any of these hybrid systems, um, you're going to want a set of these high voltage gloves. These ones here are rated to, uh, let's see, these ones here are rated to 1000 volts. So I'll leave a link in the video description below on um, where you can pick these gloves up on Amazon. Also, I'll leave a link to the other videos I did on the same truck. This actually, uh, this hybrid had a couple fail lifters in it that we uh, replaced. And it actually has a service hybrid uh, light on it that the customer also wants us to, to look into. And that's why I decided to do this quick little video on um, where the hybrid battery is located, um, how to disable it, and um, or how to isolate it so you're not um, dealing with any high voltage issues. But uh, it's located under the back seat here, but we'll go around and show you where that's at. Yeah, so here's the actual hybrid uh, battery cell in the back here. And um, this is the service switch right here. And it, it's got a couple of functions. It's got a um, it's got a sensor right here that lets you know that it's uh, plugged in. But basically, when you um, pull this thing out, it's going to disable power to uh, your actually hybrid uh, module that's up underneath the hood here, which is under this cover here. And this cover also has a safety switch on it. If this cover is off, you won't be able to start the vehicle. As you can see here, this um, safety torque bit. Uh, actually, there's a sensor right below it, so if that's loosened and this covers off, um, it actually won't let you operate the uh, hybrid system on the vehicle. Um, now, before you disconnect the uh, service power on the hybrid battery, you're going to want to disable your 12 volt accessory power, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and go ahead and disconnect that, and we'll come back to this. Um, service connect here and then you're going to want to disconnect this and then once that's disconnected you can actually go ahead and disconnect your leads to your hybrid module once you do that you're going to want to check for power with your uh with your um multimeter just to make sure um it, it actually did disable the power to all those circuits and uh that's it i'm about to do it for this video i just wanted to do a quick overview of some uh, service precautions you want to take before working on this type of vehicle and hopefully save you a lot of time in finding this stuff and um actually service service servicing it and um as always especially on these uh type of systems safety first and um you're definitely going to want to uh grab yourself a pair of these high voltage gloves if you plan on doing some uh, hybrid work but uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic. Thanks for watching. Till next time.